It is caucus day, which means there are politicians everywhere in the state of Iowa. And look at this, Jackie. We have one that has appeared on our show. That's right. We're very excited to have Senator Paul Strauss with us once again. You said it's been about a, a year ago that you were joining us. It hasn't us. been that That's long, right. has it? Uh, That's right. And now you're a year. senator of the District of Columbia. Uh, right. And we were just kind of rehashing what exactly that means and, and the great things that have happened in the past year since we've last seen you. Well, as the elected United States Senator for the District of Columbia, D.C. residents get to vote for me when they go to the polls. But then when I go to the Senate on their behalf, I don't get to vote. Right. We have a delegate to the House of Representatives who represents the district. She doesn't get to vote. Uh, we have uh, a full congressional delegation, in fact, that we elect. They don't get to vote. Uh, and it's just un-American, and it's unfair. It and doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And a it, lot of people don't realize that either. They don't. You know, our license plate motto is taxation without representation, and we're just <laughs> not being... Uh, uh, following. It's, it's, it's not a, a history lesson. It's right. actually the reality of political life for residents of the District of Columbia. So here in Iowa, where you not only participate in democracy but embrace it so much we're counting on Iowa citizens to stand up for their fellow Americans in the capital of the United States and ask for the same democratic rights that uh, you citizens of the 50 states enjoy so well, how do we get to do this how, how do we stay on the path well, to make one of sure the great happens? things I love about the caucuses is of course much of the media attention is focused on the horse race and the candidate right. but Iowans go and they caucus and they have issue resolutions they have platform resolutions you're really starting the national conversation about what this campaign is going to be about and so we are so pleased that a group of Iowans have formed Iowans for DC statehood and are making DC statehood part of the platform resolutions here in the Iowa caucuses you know, the eyes of the nation, really the world, are uh, on the state of Iowa tonight, and you are giving us the visibility that we need. We can't become a state without the help of our fellow Americans, and we're so gratified that uh, the people who committed to help us uh, uh, are, are following through, and we're getting great results. We've got commitments in 12 counties across the state. Here in Des Moines, Polk County, we're having solid, solid support, and we're so grateful. So what is the process that is laid out here in order for this to happen? Well, when people go to caucus tonight, obviously they're going to be caucusing for their candidates. But under the caucus rules, you pass these issue resolutions. And so we have been uh, working with this group. We've got this uh, wonderful campaign. You know, you have one of the most beautiful state capitals, I think, in the United States. I've heard that. One of the top two, it, I've heard. It is... Uh, and, and the, uh, the graphic and the design here shows your state capital standing behind the U.S. Capitol. And... Uh, Nothing symbolizes the fact that Iowa has our back uh, better than this uh, poster. And then on the back is a, an issue resolution that explains why uh, Iowans support D.C. statehood. It's simple fairness. It's uh, the right thing to do. And we are getting support from both parties. We have Republicans who uh, are saying, you know, we know that you're a predominantly Democratic district, but fair is fair. And uh, I don't think we could uh, get that kind of support anywhere else but the great state of Iowa. I was going to say, this would be a pretty much a bipartisan issue. issue. It, so you would see it, and no matter where you caucus tonight, you would see something about it. We, we are seeing that here because uh, there's a sense of fairness that uh, uh, people in Iowa have. Uh, it's not about uh, who we're going to vote for. It's the fact that we don't have the same rights. And uh, the co-chair of the Polk County Republican Committee has pledged to do this, as well as the Polk County Democrats, uh, as well as people all across the state. So it means the world to the people of D.C. Uh, and we just love coming out here. I mean, uh, I like politics, and uh, this is really the, the, the Super Bowl of, uh, of it. It's so exciting, so much energy. And uh, I think... We're really impressed with how seriously the people of Iowa take this responsibility uh, and make themselves part of the process. Uh, you know, anybody can go into a voting booth and spend two minutes, cast your ballot, and leave. But the fact that Iowans are going to be spending hours tonight mm -hmm. caucusing uh, and devoting so much time and attention really to a form of public service to this country uh, is truly, truly great. What are some of the oppositions to having D.C. become a state? Well... Some people besides say, having to add another star to the flag, because that's going to, yeah, but beside that. Well, some people say that, you know, it was originally set up this way by the Constitution, which isn't um, uh, 
quite true. There was voting representation for the first 10 years from 1790 to 1801. Hmm. Congress actually took it away. But people oh. are like, you know, it was designed this way. Right. Who are we to tamper with the ideas of the framers? Uh, but, you know, if we had that kind of thinking, women wouldn't be allowed to vote. Certain uh, African Americans would be counted as three-fifths of a people. I mean, we've had to change the Constitution a few times mm -hmm. to adapt to modern reality. Mm -hmm. And the modern reality of the District of Columbia is that we have more people living in Washington, D.C. than several states. Uh, we have a population larger than Wyoming, larger than Vermont, roughly comparable to Delaware, Alaska, and so many people without democratic rights, it just doesn't make our democracy work. And so at a time when politics is becoming dysfunctional, why are we excluding American citizens who serve in the military, uh, serve their country in the civil service and so many other ways, pay full federal taxes? Uh, it's not fair. It's not right. It's not uh, American. And frankly, uh, it, it doesn't fit with the values of Iowa either, which is why we're getting the exciting, we're excited by the great response we're getting. Getting a lot of traction. I, I, it all makes sense. I, I just say, it makes sense. It's kind of mind boggling. And it's that wonderful it's not. to hear that since you've been here about a year ago, that things have been moving in a positive direction. But we want that to continue to move forward. If people want more information, uh, what do they need to know, especially if they're heading out and caucusing tonight? Well, tonight, uh, the website, iowansfordcstatehood.com. We uh, are excited to uh, go there. We have a great list of, of uh, a lot of public officials who've really supported. But uh, remember, the most important title in a democracy. Uh, isn't senator, it's citizen, and uh, every citizen can come out tonight and support this issue resolution. Now, this Wonderful. starts getting some traction and going forward. How long of a process, time-wise, do you think this will this will uh, happen? Well, we've been at this for a while, but what we haven't had is the kind of grassroots support that we're seeing out here. Mm -hmm. And so we are hoping that, uh, just like there's candidates hoping to get momentum coming out of Iowa tonight and take their case to the nation, we are hoping that this issue gets the same kind of traction and momentum and that uh, D.C. statehood will be one of the tickets coming out of Iowa, as they say, and we can make this an issue in this campaign. There you go. Yeah. Senator Strauss, thank you so much for joining thank us once good again. Good to see you again. Good to I see you. the movie last night. You were at Courting Des Moines. Oh, it was a great movie. I heard uh, the guy that played you was outstanding. The guy who played Senator Strauss was really, really good. <laughs> but I will tell you that the uh, the folks who played the uh, Great Day team also did a great wow. job. Yeah, we have uh, amazing stunt people. Yeah, and, we had to pay uh, them a lot. So. Well, yeah. they uh, they earned it. <laughs> it was, uh, I don't know why they picked such a fat guy to play me. But <laughs> <laughs> what a good. Thank you so much thank for being so here. Thank you so much. Have a safe trip home.